Uh, that much news at the moment is this. Uh, doctors are calling now for abortion on demand as the British Medical Association votes to decriminalise terminations for the first time ever. I actually must confess I didn't think uh, it was. I thought that it was quite legal. I'm sure it's legal to get an abortion in this country. It's only backward countries where abortion mm. is illegal. I mean, I have to say that I think if uh, if somebody um, somebody wishes to have an abortion because they don't like the sex of their unborn child, I actually think that should be disallowed because that interferes with yeah. nature. Yeah. Uh, and if you uh, are really concerned about what uh, sex of child you have, I wouldn't have a child if I were you. No, they're all good, aren't they? They're all good, yeah, they're yeah. all good. Uh, but, you know, if a woman wishes to have an abortion, the sooner she has it, Surely the better, I would have thought. Let's talk now to uh, Harry Rogers, who is from the Society for the Protection of the Unborn Child. Uh, Harry, good evening to you. This must be good news for you. Um, oh, no, it's, it's Tom. Not, sorry, just to interrupt you, first of all, it's Tom, not Harry. So, yeah, uh, yeah, well, hang on, hang on. Where you got that from? Uh, well, I've got it from what's written down in front of me. Uh, uh, right. But I'll cross that out. Can we call yeah. you Harry? <clears throat> no, I don't want to call yeah. him Harry. His oh, name is Tom. Okay, Tom. Yeah, but let's call him yeah, Tom. Tom. But what we will do you. is we will have a word with whoever wrote it down as Harry, and you're going to yeah. be in big trouble. Uh, it's a her that did it. Right, um, right. right okay. <laughs> No, it's Tara. I've just spoken to her. Yeah, well, it's... Oh, he, yeah. he dobbed her yeah. in now. He dobbed her in, yeah. <laughs> um, right. Tom, yes. let's talk about this. So this okay. will, this will mean... I, first of all, explain to me. I thought that having an abortion uh, was perfectly legal in this country. What's all this about decriminalising it? Well, abortion itself is a criminal offence under the terms of the Offences Against the, the Person Act. Uh, which was 1890-something, uh, I do believe, don't remember the, the exact year. What the Abortion Act, in fact, did was um, allow um, a doctor to perform an abortion without being prosecuted under certain conditions on certain grounds. Uh, it's supposed that supposedly certain medical grounds, which we would dispute, but nevertheless, abortion remains a criminal offence. I mean, it's a law that's been uh, very much abused. So, for instance, how, how has it been? Case, how has it been abused, Tom? Well, because about 98% of abortions are performed under what's known as Ground C. And that says it'd be better for the woman's um, mental health if she uh, has an abortion mm. rather than continues with the the pregnancy. Right. Let me get um, hang, hang, really... hang on. Let me get this. Let me get this right. Now you're you're representing the um, uh, protection of the unborn child. That's is that right? right? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, would yeah. it not be better for an, a, a, an unborn child, though, to be terminated much sooner than later? I, 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 the idea that you can take an abortion to nearly full term, some people are asking for, yeah. is important. Unless, of course, there is a, a reason. Maybe the fetus has died. Maybe, uh, maybe the mother is in uh, in medical yeah. danger. Then obviously it has to be done at a late term, if if, right. if that is the case. But surely. If, if it is easier for a, a woman to get a, an abortion as soon as she feels she might be pregnant, that must be good news. Well, I mean, first of all, what the, the BMA has actually voted for in decriminalizing abortion, it would, in fact, uh, allow abortion up to birth because the Abortion Act only makes sense in relation to the criminal against the, the Offences Against the Person Act. So they're not being quite straight about that well obviously you could bring in you could bring in uh, yeah you could bring in some yeah. fail safes obviously i think there'd have to be time limits unless yeah. there were medical complications but if if i mean surely it's going to be best for everybody well, if a woman no, who doesn't be it wouldn't be best for anybody if women are railroaded into earlier well, no one no one's suggesting uh, abortion. that abortion becomes compulsory unless you think that's a good idea well, no. But, well, there we are. Uh, well, what are you talking the, about then? The, the, the pressure for a woman to have an abortion is sometimes, is sometimes intense. And there has been a great push by the Department of Health to make abortions earlier. That's why they're doing more so-called medical abortions using yeah. the RU486 drug. 
Um, well, what's your, uh, listen, what's your solution? Never mind what they're... Tom, what is your solution yeah. to this? If a, if a woman is pregnant and she doesn't want to have a child, she suddenly thinks she might be pregnant, she doesn't test, she finds she is, she doesn't want the child, what is your solution? Well, you wouldn't be surprised to hear that the Society for Protection of Unborn Children, first of all, on the one hand, wants to absolutely protect the unborn child, which is an innocent human life. Okay, so you're not interested in pregnant women. You don't like pregnant women. Is that what you're telling I love, me? I love pregnant women. No, I don't you think know, you I'm, do. I'm, I'm if you, if you like, you know, you... I'm married to one. You, I've, just, uh, I've just had a baby myself. Well, you didn't. Your uh, wife had a baby. Well, yeah, my wife had confusing. a baby. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I loved my wife and yeah. she was pregnant. Yeah, so no, that's I very lucky. But if, you're, if your wife had been unmarried, maybe, or she'd been raped or something, else she may not have wanted to have it, that child and it would be better for her to get that abortion as soon as she could well not really because i mean you know being pregnant often an unexpected pregnancy brings a sort of range of uh, emotions and it is a fact actually that even where uh, a pregnancy is so-called you know unwanted and a woman can feel pressured in Can we look, look can Tom for the purpose Tom within themselves Tom for the purposes of this program right, right. Can we assume that women who want to have an abortion are women who want to have an abortion Let me ask you this question If your wife and I'm sure she would but if your wife had said to you look Tom I'm sorry I'm not really ready for this at the moment I really don't want to have this baby I'm going to have it aborted what would you have said well, first of course, she wouldn't have uh, said that. Well, and she might have done. How do you know she wouldn't have said I that? Would have, I would have um, explained to her that that is, you know, that is a child. And first of all, an innocent uh, human being, an innocent child that needs both of our protection as parents. It'd be also so my you'd use emotional daughter. blackmail on her, would you? Well, I yeah, mean, you'd use there, emotional you blackmail know, on her. Using an appeal to, to human rights and, and common justice, surely. Um, isn't it uh, emotional blackmail to therefore talk about, you know, a woman being forced But it's not your body, mate, it. is it? Tom, it's not your body. And so, quite frankly, I'm at a loss to ever yeah. understand why right. so many men have got such a loud mouth about this particular uh, discussion. You know, it is not your body. What about if it's dangerous you, for the woman? Were you an unborn to... child at, at one stage, James? Were you, have you ever been an unborn baby? No, no, I was created He's like, like yeah, I am now He's from, just... from yeah. yeah, I was created at the age of about 40, yeah. wasn't yeah. I, yeah. Of course. A ridiculously would you, would you stupid say, question, uh, if I might say so, Tom. No, it's not. I'm, I'm trying to make, uh, trying no, to make Tom. a point of principle here. You're not making was a point it your at all. Body, was it your body when you were an unborn baby, when you were, say, six weeks from conception or 12 weeks from conception, 20 weeks from conception? Would you say that that was your body? Would you say that you were you? at that stage, at any of those stages. No, I, I, I wouldn't say I was me until I popped out into the world and started antagonising everybody I could. <laughs> you, you may have been doing that before you were born. I might well uh, have been, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what about a 13-year-old who's got pregnant and it would be dangerous for her to have the child? What would you say in that situation? Well, obviously, I do not think that uh, being 13 is an ideal age. No, obviously, it's illegal and shouldn't have happened, but it does happen. Yeah. And, and, exactly. But in that case, in that case, first of all, I mean, you've got uh, two innocent victims. You've got the innocent unborn baby who still does not deserve to be unjustly killed. And then the uh, the 13-year-old, think what you're putting on that 13-year-old for the rest of her life. You know, she is going to be aware that she will... No, but she might die. They're the saying death, she might die from death. giving birth. There is no... This is a fact. There is no medical justification whatsoever for... Can abortion. I... As we live in a free country, can I say, I think you're completely stark staring mad. I find people like you very annoying, Tom. Because you are actually Why? trying to dictate to another person what they ought to do with their body because of your rather, in my view, your rather misguided view of life. Now, it's okay. You can, you can do whatever you like. And goodness only, I'm so pleased.
least your wife agrees with you, because if not, you'd be in real trouble. But some people don't want to be parents. Um, perhaps you suggest that, that people who who like to have sex should only have sex if they're going to have children. I don't know. Are you, are you bound by some strange religious views? I don't know. Well, I don't think it's a strange religious. Well, any re to I me, Tom, any religious view is strange. <laughs> any, any, really, anybody who believes in things in the sky is strange. Come well, on. I don't believe necessarily in things in the sky, but what do you believe in then? What do you think is the meaning and purpose of human life? Um, I don't even discuss it. I don't well, even, because those are my views. Agnostic. I'm an agnostic. Those are my views, and I don't uh, want to the import fence. them onto you. I'm on the fence. Yeah, oh, on the fence. Mate. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fence. I, I don't know, and nor do you. That's what I'm saying. Nor do you. Um, well, I can look at the evidence and make a, uh, a there is choice. You, there is no evidence. Listen, but we're getting off the point. Tom, the fact is that a woman can make up her own mind, and if a woman wants not to be a mother. As the sooner well, the she, she already can, is mother if she's this, pregnant. Well, you she might not. Mother. She has a baby inside of her, yeah. you know, a living, yeah. growing, unique. Uh, so what, what, being. whatever we say, Tom, you insist. Uh, any woman who has the audacity, the audacity to get pregnant, has to go through with it yeah. and produce the next human being. Oh, he's put us on hold. He's obviously gone to think about it. Get rid. Bye. Thank you, Tom. That's it. Yeah. If you can't get the conversation going, if I you can't talk about it, that's pressed, it. Pressed, Thank you, Tom. I think he pressed the uh, button if you got, I don't care. No, I don't no, care. No, no, I no. find that annoying. And I am more than annoyed, I can yeah. tell you, about the fact. I didn't realise that abortion was still considered a criminal offence, even though they can get over it in certain ways. Do you remember that lady who came on years ago and she was pregnant with eight babies and the doctor said, We've got to abort four, or they'll all die, and she wouldn't do it because you know you can't blame her. She didn't. Well, you can't pick them, can you? But anyway, they did all die. Mm. What would he say in that case? I mean, you know, because well, no, he'd, uh, he'd say they should obviously. all die, wouldn't he? I, I mean, would have thought have... protection for the unborn well, they child. Be left, yes. You know, uh, the idea of a late abortion when that fetus is viable really quite disgusts me unless there's a medical reason cool thing, and the it? idea of having an abortion be because you want a child but you only want a boy child and if you it's a yeah. girl child you have to abort it i think that's disgusting yeah. but i think an abortion should be as easy because listen if a yeah. woman and somebody said well that's like treating it as contraception well if a woman is so stupid that that's what she thinks it is then she ain't going to yeah. be fit to be a mother anyway is she your thoughts, join us, 03444991000.